Now, what do we have here? It's an expansion coming up, but the MK for TH is pretty close by. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh my goodness. Would you look at those items? But he's only level 2. He's not expanding. A player's forces are under attack. He brought all of his peasants over here. Is he actually gonna expand here? Are you kidding me? No way. Alright, Keeper just hit level 3 somewhere. Here it is. With quite a bit of mana, thanks to that pendant of his as well. So he has two more entangles to use, or a couple of treants as well, if he wants to. <clears throat> MK, yeah, only level 2, and not really close to level 3 at all, either. So yeah, he's got a lot of mana, but he doesn't have the strongest spells here. TH now, by the way, has the money to expand, if he wants to. But it's a pretty dangerous fight, difficult fight, I should say, for him. He's got level 1 clap, level 1 bash, Whisk coming in for the detonate. But this is a keeper level 3. He's got some decent mercs here, he lost just two of them right there, however. But he's still gonna be able to force him back. Entangle after entangle, it is entangle level 1, actually. Treant's level 2 here. Neutron would not be amused. Alright, here comes the tree. And TH has to retreat, and what does he have to show for himself now? He is teching. He delayed the expansion. Okay. And he suddenly is very close to level 3, so he got quite a few kills over there. Um, managed to retain his mana potion, which is also important. Don't want to be using that early on before a very decisive moment in the game. Yeah, this is a weird game. Um, I haven't really seen this before. Keeper, of course, uh, with plenty of mana to use, and this is where the level 2 Force of Nature comes in very handy for the creeping. And with that, should be able to get to level 4 pretty quickly as well. So the expo of his has been delayed. This one, though, is going to be coming up. Let's take a look at the tech. What's happening here? 30% versus around 70%. But... What? Forces are under attack. He just clapped the ground. I imagine that was a misclick, probably. Oh, very good staff usage, man. Really cool using the one of Illusion to Scout and using the staff to come over and to prevent this creep camp from going to Foggy. Gets an archer as well, which I guess isn't the biggest of deals. And now the Keeper's best friend, the Alchemist, he would love to grab up from the tavern, but of course it's still way too early. Tech far from finished. He's got a Shredder though, so Lumber is not going to be an issue anymore. May even be able to help with uh, fighting later on, if it should be required. Two Shadow Priests already very important against the Keeper. If you have enough Shadow Priests to get rid of the Dispel and perhaps even the Treants, could be a great help. I've seen this MK heavy merc uh, strat before, but when I saw it before, it was with mercenaries, with rifles, and an early push against the Knight of Expo. But, there is no blacksmith, so no rifles. It's an AM second, it's a single sanctum. Only the one. So I guess one sanctum plus mass mercs is the idea here. Shadow Priests and Berserkers instead of Rifles, I guess. Oh, Stormbolt. Level 1 only. He gets the 4 units around. Almost. Ah, oh, nice anti-surround though. He's got Clap level 2 here, as we could see. And he uses the Greater Mana already. Forces the TP out of it. And does not even get the Archer. That did not look like a very high value Greater Mana Potion usage right there. Expo's finally mining fully here. Took a little bit, but now here we go. And we have mass production, I imagine, coming out from Foggy. Only 28 supply at the moment, though. He's going tier 3? Isn't that super greedy? Shouldn't he be going like second hero, mass hunts, 
mercs, all that stuff. Because it seems to me the only thing he has to do right now is hold on. And it's TH here forcing the issue. He's bringing ivory towers from the Archmage. Doesn't seem like they're gonna be remaining upright though. Here's the second hero, Alchemist. Acid Bombs can help out quite a bit. The archers have been fended off pretty easily here with the clap ability, of which he has more to use. Every human's new favorite skill, it seems like, the clap. Boom, here's another one. And he's getting archer after archer. And actually, the towers survive, the towers will be repaired. And Foggy just didn't have enough. Didn't go for more mercs. Didn't go for hunts. Why didn't he go for hunts? Hunts fall off really hard against Rifle Caster, but this is not a Rifle Caster game, I guess. Easy for me to say, having the perfect vision, not so easy for him to realize. But suddenly he's in a world of trouble, dude. How's he gonna break this now? He's got two heroes. That's it, they're two pretty good heroes, but... Don't know if it's enough. I guess it's all about the Moonwells. How much juice does he have? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Only Arcane Towers coming up, though. Not the most threatening towards buildings. Oh, now even the Greeps uh, wake up and are gonna start attacking the Ancient of War here. Lots of problems coming Foggy's way. Lots of stuff to deal with. The Ancient of War over here is buying good time for him. But, dude, he's got, like, nothing! Two archers. And the heroes, which are out of mana now. That greater mana potion, of course, on the MK was pretty good. And Mountain Giant is the choice, but only the single one. Hardened Skin is coming in. Pre-nerf, by the way. This is not the PTR. Oh, nice to spell against all of these Treants. Treants is really the only thing he has. And against those, there is a spell now from the priests. Um, out of mana now, but it's okay. All the treants are gone pretty much as well. Mana potion, yes. Making the most of it with a pendant of energy. But this is just too much. One base MK Merc push. Against this expansion. Early attack to delay the expo even further. And then on tier 2 with the AM second and a bit of tower support. What an unusual strategy, I hadn't seen that before. Of course, uh, these players playing a lot of netties and stuff. Oh, hold that thought, we're going for the Alchemist and this level 1 hero is gone! Can the Mountain Giant save him? At WGL. They were the units that won him the series against Infi. No question. But the thing is, you need support with the Mountain Giants. Because they are not gonna kill the human army. It's not enough damage. And this is a pretty sturdy army. Not the most DPS here, but I guess that's what the MK is for. Who went for more mana potions, who's level 4.5 now. Even a workshop coming up. Keeper here, he's got a bit of mana to use as well, but... So much to spell, look at this! Shadow priests, normal priests! It's just, uh... Too much, uh, too much anti-magic, I guess. All right, now, can these MGs hold this expansion? He needs to do it, it really seems like. All the wisp that they'd already went out, which means there's no more repair anymore. anymore. Could just right-click it down, and he will. And the tree is gone. All right, Foggy has to live with that now. Has to fall back to his base. Can he stabilize on one base? That's the question. And this is where the workshop is really cool. TH realizing... Oh. That was a bit of a lag. TH realizing, okay, um, I may break, be able to break this expansion, but can I break the base after? And of course the model teams are gonna be a tremendous help with that. With a high, high base damage value, also not too bad against the Mountain Giants, but before fragmentation shards, probably not gonna be too much damage, actually. He's not tier 3, right? No. Of course not. Foggy now at 49 supply against 48. But very little in ways of damage. The illusions here on the MGs are pretty good. Maybe able to soak up a lot of damage themselves. <clears throat> and now we have four Mountain Giants, dude. This is quite a lot. MK getting entangled, getting focused. No mana, though, on the Alchemist. This Alchemist has felt very underwhelming this game. Ooh, that clap. 
Yep. That's the new human favorite. Actually, like, it's been like that for half a year at least. Where Clap has been getting prioritized so much. Compared to 1.27, where nobody ever got Clap, it seemed like. Everybody was always going Bolt and Bash. TH here, inching his way forward. Now he does have the Lumber Mill. It will be Guard Towers coming up. Not that one, but maybe the other. Can Foggy chew his way through this? Staff of Preservation, I think the first time? We saw it here to save the Alchemist. But there's really no damage. And that's the downside, the big downside of the Keeper. If the opponent has ample Dispel, he can seem very useless. Another Entangle coming out against the Mountain King again. But no follow-up damage. Acid Bomb coming in after only and no right clicks to follow through to help with a minus armor there that had been applied. Once again, Alchemist taking quite a bit of damage. The Staff is ready though. Has to use it. There we go. This is a new expansion. Wow. Okay. I wonder how he thinks he's gonna have the time to go down there and creep this. We have more... Mercs coming for support. This is now TH in upkeep. Foggy's still sitting at 50. At least it's nighttime. He does have the super wells. So he's got quite a bit of moon juice. And once again, into the breach. Which is a really cool computer game, by the way. If you're looking for a good new game for the new year, check out Into the Breach on Steam. It's actually pretty cheap. I think 20 bucks. Really cool turn-based strategy game. That's my tip of the day for you. So slowly but surely, these MGs are dropping low on health. Can TH maybe find a kill here? A little bit late with the Dispel means the MK is dropping lower. And if he can force the TP out of the MK, because I, I doubt TH would let him die, <clears throat> then maybe he's got the time to take this new base down here. And maybe with that... Oh, he's actually leaving the main right now. Ooh. Hoping he has the time down there to creep. Does he have a TP to get back quickly? He does. Alchemist's got one. And now alarm bells must be ringing for TH. He's like, where the hell are you? And he probably realizes this must be a new expansion being crept right now. Bold move by Foggy moving down here looking for the new base, but it comes at a high price. Two Moonwells down already. One lore could easily fall as well. He is super supply stuck right now. Actually, he's not, because he remade new ones and the Tree of Life just finished. TPing home now. Altar is gone. So hero losing heroes is no longer allowed. MK with good mana. And a mana potion still to use as well. Going for the Keeper here. Early uproot of the Ancient of Lore. That was a nice move to be able to walk away from that. Archers... I'm not sure if they have... I don't think they have, uh, what's it called? Marksmanship? Doesn't have, oh, he does have a new Ancient of War. Okay. Flying Machine is gonna scout this though very early. Oh, he doesn't quite see it. He's not quite in range to see the new base down there. It, it seems like Foggy should be dead to rights in this game, but he's not. He's not yet. 58 supply for him. Oi, oi, oi. 71 though. For TH. Never the most income, but also never seems to be losing anything. His dispels just two on point. Look at all that mana. Look at all that sweet, juicy mana on all the priests. And I wonder, wouldn't it be a better idea to pick up the sticks with the MGs? Yes, you do less damage against heroes. But you have more range. Like, it's only less damage against heroes and against the one single Berserker. And the range, I think, should make a big difference. And of course, it's more damage as well. Alright, Foggy committing pretty deep now. They're seriously dropping low on health. He does not have double staff to save two of them at the same time. He's coming in with a scroll of healing. But that's only like, oh, a little, a little tiny bit. Did you see it? A little tiny cute amount. It's not even 10%. Of the MG's health. And he's uh, waiting for nighttime. He's praying for nighttime. He lost his shop, so he can't go for a moonstone right now. He's making a new shop. He's gonna have it soon enough again. Man, this has been a constant tug of war. But yeah, this, this space is mining right now. 
I thought this game was 100% over. But not necessarily. Really not sure about this tree end usage. I don't see them doing much of anything, to be honest. I think you should rather hope for an entangle going through or something. But it's TH at the same time. It's pretty doubtful that he's not gonna be dispelling quickly enough. And there's the base, by the way. I didn't even see this for the longest time. <laughs> and there's one tank over here dealing with this tree. Maybe he's not gonna be able to kill it, but he's definitely gonna be able to stop mining. We have tier 3 now, actually, of course, as is uh, obvious with the tank being in. Inner fire everywhere. I think inner fire is the new spell of the meta. Hawk introduced it, it seemed like. And now everybody is valuing it so much. The bonus damage is pretty nice, but it's mostly the armor. Five armor on everything is absolutely amazing. And 10% actually of damage, also pretty good. Hellstone has to be used, this really seems to be the last stand, but hold on! MK had to TP away, but of course he's got a new base over here, so he's gonna land... ...right there. And the tank... Oh, look at this! The MG is actually the Knight of Counter against the tank. Still takes a little bit though. But he's gonna be able to defend this. Dude! This is a crazy ass game. It's gonna be nighttime soon again. We have artificial nighttime right now with the Moonstone. Heal spray coming in, but it's only level one heal spray. That's really not that good. So many mana potions on the Mountain King. Even the Shredder now coming in for support. He's got more than enough lumber, of course, but I think finally these MGs might be falling. It took like almost an entirety of a game, or at least half a game. Tank is gone, Expo safe for now. But the MGs, man, they are dropping dangerously low. If only he can hold on for a little bit longer. It's almost night time. Around one more Warcraft hour and he's there. Level 3 now on the Archmage. Going for... Aura, maybe? Yeah. Going for Aura over Water Elementals. Makes sense, I think. MK is looking for the big clap once again. Oh my god, look at that! And now he's level 5. Most likely has the level 3 clap right now. MGs are just dancing, trying to bathe in the shower of the Alchemist, but not doing any damage. They've never been known for doing much damage in the first place. It's nighttime now. Finally. But, oh my god, four mortar teams. No upgrades for them, but inner fire, so one damage upgrade, basically. And now the production is gone. It took a while here, but it seems like TH is choking him out. Finally. With a very innovative playstyle, as he's known for, has been known for, for so long. Clap after clap. No more mana potions right now, so can't use any more. Even knights coming in now. Of course, uh, main is mined out, by the way. 78 supply. I guess only 49 here left now for Foggy. And I've been saying this <laughs> for quite a while now. This seems like the last stand, but let's see. Mountain King taking quite a bit of damage. Inner Fire helped a lot right there. So he wasn't taking that much. Look at the MG struggling to kill a priest. Oh, doesn't even get him. Has he lost a single Mountain Giant, by the way, this game? Did you guys see one fall? I don't think I did. Alright. Is this the nail in the coffin? The one that I was anticipating for so long? Something's moving down to deal with this. Might be good enough, I don't know. I think you could just kill the tree, right? But does that really matter? Oh, no. No, no, no! Come on, dude. Don't do this to me.
Despite long life, it seems I'm disconnected, maybe. Yeah, I am. Shit. That is unfortunately what sometimes happens on Netties. I'm pretty sure we knew how this was gonna go though anyways, but of course still sucks. All right, let me see if I can find a stream here real quick. So we can at least catch the end of it. All right, the light is streaming it as well, my boy. Okay, it just ended. Sorry, I didn't. We didn't quite uh, catch the end there. Um, yeah. Sometimes the connection to China, unfortunately, does that. Hopefully, that's going to be the last time for today. All right, so uh, obviously TH won that game. Doing a good job. Um, very patient play as well. Against Mountain Giants, that's what you have to be, I guess. <laughs> Don't overextend. Trickle them down, little by little. But of course, the most important thing there was taking out the early expansion. What a weird strat, right? One base MK, level two, early game attack, to cancel the expansion, fall back, tech after, and then all in push with mercs, couple of priests, and an archmage second. Pretty cool. So our second game is going to be on Echo Isles. Mm. I wonder what he's got in store there. And um, this kind of resonates, I think, with a point that Foggy made. Of course, after WGL, um, we all remember, you know, the balance talks and Blizzard seemed to agree as quite a few Night Elf nerfs were coming in, are still coming in on the PTR, with the range decrease, with the Mountain Giant nerf, Acid Bomb nerf. Do we have something else? And of course, the Hunts and Treants earlier already. Yeah, so um, Night Elf is getting, you know, cut down to size again. But what Foggy actually said was, well, yes, Night Elf is looking very strong right now, but at the same time, people haven't had much experience yet, you know, countering it really and developing strategies specifically against this. And that strat right there did pretty much look like that. Like, uh, you know, TH designing a strategy specifically to counter the early game expansion from the Keeper. Looked pretty good. Uh, during that first attack of the expansion, I was very critical of Foggy. It seemed like he was very light on units, right? He had three archers, and that's it. Like, if you don't want to go hunts, I can kind of understand, because hunts fall off really heavy, especially against Rifle Caster. Which, it wasn't actually what TH was playing, but he couldn't really know. 
but not even Mercs. He had so little in way of defense, he was really banking on his MGs to get him out of that hot water. But they were not quite ready in time. All right, here we go. Um, map number two. Did this change back again? Are you serious? No, okay. Should be the right mic. Oh, we had a new couple of new supporters here. We have a Breaking Art with a first time sub. Welcome, my man. Uh, Floss two times daily, 16 month resub. He says, back to Warcraft in 2019. Let's see, back to Warcraft casting in. 3019. That would be pretty crazy. Uh, Ahelis just subscribed. And Hitman123 with a two month resub as well. Thank you guys all so, so much. Yeah, man, 2019 is, is going to be a crazy, crazy year for us. Unless something very weird happens. But um, yeah. Reforged coming out. Most likely. Unless, you know, they have uh, development delays. But that's what they said, Reforge coming out 2019. And of course, so much more prize money being poured into the scene in China. A lot more interest being generated again because of that prize money, because of Reforged on the horizon. And of course, we're going to be right here covering that for you. What's that ogre doing? It's a little weird. MK again, by the way, as you could probably already see. It's the return of the Mountain King, guys. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say the Mana Potion won him that last game. I think that would be too big of a statement. But it certainly helped him. He's not gonna be able to find this here so early. He might be able to find it over here. But that's very difficult to creep because you're gonna be busy creeping this and the green camp and the expansion. And then you expand and then you take this one and then you're super far away from over here. This is usually what happens. But TH just played a one base Mountain King game. Oh, he finds the boots, by the way. Oh my goodness. That is extremely good. Like the scout farm over here. A little Todd-esque. Have you guys noticed this? I don't know how much you play on ladder. But I play quite a bit on ladder. And if you do as well, ever since Todd became relevant again, for Warcraft 3, there is so many more scout farms going up everywhere. That's the influence of one man right there. So Keeper, um, yeah, with a safe creep camp to start, green into green, into then Merc camp. And no expansion yet. Is he actually taking? He's going Hunter's Hall. This is looking like an, like a push strat, right? Still not taking. Ring of Protection, not really what I was looking for. And TH is switching it up now. It's gonna be expanding, by the look of things at least. With the Militia here, taking out the remainder. Oh man, these footies are looking mighty bruised though. That's always the issue playing Mountain King instead of Archmage. You don't have the summons to tank for you. Staff, where are we going? Towards the scout farm. And he's looking for the big clap. Oh, nice block from Foggy. Not allowing him the big clap. He's going for the little stun at least, the little bolt. Quite a bit of mana here expended to get rid of that Shadow Priest. But I think that's not that painful. Um, for TH especially, the Shadow Priest is very, very important. But for Foggy, where's all his resources going, by the way? He's still not attacking. No expansion. He's going hunts. One Ancient of War hunts. So much money, still. Oh wow, this expo is very late. Tower into shop into then expo. Understandable though, look at those footies. And here comes the expansion now, okay. Coming up, albeit late however. Oh wow! Ah no wait, this is the old patch. You still get those for free. I forgot. Yeah, Nettie's is not yet patched to the new version. So hunts still, mucho mucho damage, and also sentinels for free. And this is very expensive. Oh my god, it's also level 3 for the keeper. 
Might be level 2 Treants once again. He's a big fan of those. Against Shadow Priest especially, it makes sense. If you go for the level 2 in the Entangle, Shadow Priest can dispel that just as well as a level 1 Entangle. So actually, with that in mind, I think I would like... Oh, okay, there's an Arcane in the main. I was like, if there's no Arcane in the main, dude, this is gonna be painful. I mean, it's gonna be painful anyways. Arcane Tower takes a long time to take out those Treants. Tech is coming in now. Do we have a tech over here as well? Yes, we do. Alright, only costs him one peasant here, as it seems. More sentinels coming out, good vision, and most importantly, time for this expansion. MK is full mana once again, looking for the big clap! There we go. He's definitely gonna be able to get this kill. Oh, look at that. With the blocks, he didn't even need the storm bolt. So now, with that bolt, he can look for the next kill. With his quick shadow melt, though, this Huntress might be surviving. Ah, no, wouldn't have been good enough. The fate time there definitely would have taken too long. And suddenly the MK is in the middle of the marketplace. Level 4 already as well. Jesus Christ. He buys the pendant. Wow. That is very expensive. 300 gold. Okay. If he finds the greater mana now. <laughs> We keep an eye on that here as the tech is nearing its conclusion. Expo not being reset up. Of course, a human can't really do that. Don't have the resources when you're teching. So many buildings coming up as well. Scroll the beast. Not bad either. But not a greater mana. Keeper here getting closer to his own level 4. But he's taken quite a few losses. Berserker, Shadow Priest and a Huntress. And he's gotten very little himself in terms of army. He got the expo cancel and a couple of peasants over here, that was good for him. But not that many unit kills. MK reinforcing here. Ooh, he's got a he's got a very scary force right now. So many mercs and a couple of footies thrown into the mix. He needs to root this very quickly, otherwise this tree's probably dead. Okay, this is the game deciding moment right now. Can Foggy save this expansion? Almost level four. But finding those kills isn't going to be too easy. He tried to split against the clap, but it didn't quite work. And those hunts, they need to connect for the damage. They need to come in close. And this is where the clap can really shine, of course. He's still waiting for that scroll of the beast to be used. He's not even using it. He's holding on to it. Three Shadow Priests once again. Clap one more time. Oh my god. He is destroying these hunts. Kiting back further and further. Waiting for the clap cooldown. There's another one. And he's got one, almost two more. Holy crap. He just destroyed him. He just destroyed him. Doesn't even get the Berserker, man. Doesn't even get him. He wants him, but he doesn't get him. Alchemist coming in. Can he save the day? That was a big acid bomb. That was a really big acid bomb. Bolt again! Keep her dead! I think he's level 3 Storm Bolt. I'm not quite sure. He's even TPing out. i not... Entirely certain that this was necessary. <coughs> I'm pretty sure this is the fastest level 5.6 that I've ever seen. A player's forces are under attack. He's 5.6, guys. A town is under what the hell? Whew. And you know, in the first game I was like, well... Why doesn't he just make Huntresses? Turns out, Clap is pretty good against Hunts. Oh 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 no. Oh no, how quick is he with his fingers? Hoo hoo hoo, he was watching. He was watching very closely. He wanted to get that inball. Didn't have the time though. This MK is a scary man. A town is under siege. Pendant of Energy over on the Archmage. So he has better region from the Clarity. That's a nice touch. And he's getting the invul as well. How is Foggy supposed to hold this now? This Mountain King is a madman. Absolute madman. Or a mad lad, as we say in the internet. He's full mana. Jesus Christ. That looked like a level 3 Stormbolt, by the way. Oh! AM not so much damage. Yeah, there's there's no way. 
There is absolutely no way. Oh, Stormbolt, focus fire, clap. <laughs> and he has to TP out. And this MK still has more mana, dude. I imagine this is how playing human makes a lot of fun, right? Usually you're always cowering and waiting and turtling and biding your time. But in a game like this, when your MK is just completely out of control. And what a good purchase this was as well, right, GG? And that was pretty obvious, of course. Pendant of energy from the marketplace. We don't see that every day. Very expensive and stuff. But what a good purchase that was indeed. Well, well, well. That was a quick 2-0. Looking very different from the games from WGL. And yeah, the meta has evolved, I guess. One base, insane Mountain King is... Uh, is the new style, I guess. Can't do that on every map, though. And maybe in future encounters... Nidos against TH will be focusing more on those videos like TS and Echo are both the best MK maps. Could just veto those instead and I don't know, be left with LR maybe. LR MK is playable? Or is it even? No, probably not, right? Because the Merc Camp is so hard on LR, can't reliably get it. Okay, that's our first game over. Our second one is gonna be Moon versus TH. Oh, that's really cool. That's actually really cool. I wonder how differently this is gonna look now. Wouldn't be surprised to see a lot more Dryads in those games. With Moon being such a big fan of the Dryads. Foggy, not going for them a single time. Um, and that seemed to be the right call at WGL. Just go MGs and a couple of Archers. And the two heroes, of course. And that brought him the victory against Infi right there. But now this MK first strat, dude. Really cool to see how the meta has already evolved.